Welcome back. It's been a little while. Hello there, swim nerds. Today we have Felipe Lima live. How's from it going? Dubai. How are you, Nate? And how are you, Brett? I'm good, man. You're coming from the green room in Dubai. I love it. Yeah, I'm directed from Dubai uh, during training camp before Sharp Horse Wars. Awesome, man. Awesome. Well, well your video you does at? look really, really good it considering does. you're thousands of miles away. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. All right. So we had you on a podcast last week, but mm -hmm. Brett was fiddling with his microphone. <laughs> and when I went to, to, to produce everything, there was just like, it was just gone. There was like absolutely no audio for half of it. So um, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll take a couple. We got, we got about, we got had. 20 minutes, right? Yeah. We got 22 minutes. Yeah. Not 20 minutes, man. We'll, we'll clip a few things, but yeah, we'll, you know, we'll, we wanted to start fresh. Out. It's too good. I mean, yeah. you're too good, man. Too good of a person, too good of a guest. We wanted to bring you back. So we're here live and everybody's watching. Where are the comments section? Let me go to the comments here. Who's in it yeah. right now? We got some, we got some boys, Raman and Luis. Okay. Uh, more people. Right, well, if you, got, if you got questions for 36 year old breaststroke breaststroke or Felipe Lima, put them in the, put them in the, the comment section there. But, um, uh, so what do you have like a week until you start racing again or what? Yeah. Uh, short course was going to start in 16. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to be here in, uh, Dubai. I'm, I'm in Dubai right now. So, uh, we're going to be in Dubai until the 13th. You're going to head out like to Abu Dhabi is uh, an hour and a half drive from here. Right. On 13th and, uh, start racing the 16 over there. I just First saw you were with a uh, with uh, some some boys some comp uh in terms of um, some guys that you're training with right now. Who are you with? Uh yeah, so uh, we are here in Dubai doing some training camp with uh, swimmers around the world. Um, uh, so it's here Tom Shields, uh, Chad Leclerc, um, uh, Gregor, uh, Vinny Lanza, Fernando Sheffer, uh, Shibon. Uh, Simona from Czech Republic, and uh, also uh, in our companion, uh, we have like a Tom from Energy Standard and Sonny, like uh, doing our help here in the pool deck, like uh, make us like uh, as better we can. And uh, probably tomorrow, uh, gonna join us, uh, Dylan Carter, like mm -hmm. also the worldwide uh, worldwide swimmer. Uh, gonna join us like tomorrow uh before the war so we have a great group here set up nice nice now you're just coming off the back of the isl final we'll talk about that in a second but you just mentioned that um you, you're headed to the world championships world short course um talk us through your event schedule uh yeah so uh i came just right now from the ISL from four matches, like consecutive matches. Like, so we got champion there. So that's great. Uh, uh, defended like energy standard. So second title for them, like first title for me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so yeah, uh, out, out of short course worlds, uh, I have a kind of busy, busy schedule, like at a hundred breaths first day. And then, uh, I have a relay, uh, 50 breaths and uh, relay again. So uh, it's kind of busy schedule for during those days. It's uh, just uh, like a six days uh, competition out there in, uh, in Abu Dhabi. Right. Now, are you uh, facing some tough opponents? Is, is Ilya going to be there? Uh, who are some of the other competitors you're racing in the 50 and the 100? Yeah, Ilya was with me like all the time at ISL, like races, like uh, on the 50 brass, 100 brass. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, of course, there's a, a lot of other swimmers, great swimmers coming up, like uh, uh, Amri uh, from Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a very good opponent on the 50 brass and 100 brass. Uh, Nicola Martinelli uh, mm -hmm. from Italy as well. Arno Carmiga, uh, what else? Um, I'm gonna say Nick Fink from US. Uh, is is, is Nick, Nick gonna be there? Yeah, yeah Nick is. is gonna be there. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, uh, Nick Fink, Matt Andrew, uh, Russian guys. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people like 50 breaths, uh, to make like eight, uh, to make a final, uh, should be like at least under 26. 
for sure. I guess the only person missing is Petey. Really? Yeah, Petey is not. Yeah, Petey is not going to be there. Uh, also, I I don't know. Is uh, Fabius Cazale is going to be there because he got a COVID like uh, uh, right after I sell. So mm. uh, I don't know. If he's going to be there. Uh, but it sounds competitive. Uh, it sounds like a lot of the top guys are going to be. That's going to be a competitive meet for you. Will be. Will be. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, awesome. it'll be like very tough competition. Well, listen, you are just coming off the back of a championship, mate. So congrats on the championship with Energy Standard. Uh, talk to us about the feeling, uh, maybe going into the final, a couple of days before the final. How was the team feeling? How What were you talking about? And uh, and then we can kind of talk about the the meet itself. But just in the build-up to it, how was the team atmosphere? Uh, the team atmosphere was great. Uh, but uh, we got a shock to like, uh, uh, after the first match, because we lose the first match. I mean, we lose a good second at uh, the first match and, uh, we, we have to rebuild the team, uh, uh, mind and, uh, and also the atmosphere with the team, like to, to get a, like the, the number wins, uh, at ISL. So, um, our team have like around like. 16 to 20 different nationalities so uh just kind of hard to manage like oh, everyone like uh, uh in different schedule different program different uh goals so uh we had to build that uh, into the isl uh, to make that 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 big wins at, at the end so uh it's it was a great uh uh, uh session uh with everyone there and uh and uh, i mean what what can I say? I understand that I think it's a it's a very uh, cultural people, and uh, we make the our best like to make uh, our team champion again. Yeah, it seems like you guys have um, you know people from all around the world. A lot a lot of teams do for sure, but more so on energy, you've got you know a, a number of different nations represented. You seem to come together really well. It seems like a very close knit team. Obviously led uh, by James Gibson, who's um, one of the best coaches slash managers, um, does a really good job of managing the team, building the team. So, you know, um, it was a great team win in the end. Uh, there was a little bit of controversy. I think, Nate, you may have um, kind of some footage here. Of Oh, yeah, we can, we can actually watch that if you want to. Day one, are we allowed to? Okay. Oh, yeah, Day sure. One. It's on the internet, I think. Check it out. Mm. Okay. It was Lily King's turn. Lily King's relay. turn. Lily King's turn in the relay caused a lot of controversy. There was a there was a call where she was DQ'd, which DQ'd the relay. They lost a ton of points. Fifty points. Uh, yeah, fifty point. A lot of people. Listen, man, you're a breaststroker. Talk to me through this turn a little bit. What are you seeing yourself, and um, and and what do you feel about the DQ? Uh it's kind of hard to say. Because, uh, yeah, we don't have like a very clear uh, video, but it looks like a shit touch, like with the both hands. Looks like, but uh, if the referee like have a doubt, uh, the referee have to to make that uh, for the athletes, right? Not mm -hmm. not against the athletes. So, and also was a really tough competition. Uh, between uh, Kelly Condors and Energy Center, so uh, uh, it's it's really hard to say. It's really hard to say. You've seen the video. Can imagine like be a be a referee right there at the moment. So to to make that decision uh, up to like uh, for some some team or not. But uh, I mean, of course, that decision like make. Uh, Energy Standard wins the the race. Uh, I mean the the competition because uh, um, that's Nate say like it's a, it was like a fifty points on on that that DQ for Kelly Condors and uh, and at the end like I think Energy Standard won with the twenty something points ahead. Uh, yeah, but uh, definitely it's like. Listen, man, it's not the first DQ in history. It's not the first controversial DQ in history. A lot of a lot of conspiracy theories out there, especially from the US. 
Um, exactly. Maybe maybe even Nate might have played into a few conspiracies privately. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, but listen, yeah, man, but it's, I, it's not your, it's it's not the team's fault. I mean, you're just out there racing. You're out there competing. You're not out there, yeah. you know, trying to cheat to to win this thing. You're competing as yeah. hard as you possibly can. Yeah, of course. That, that's not my business. Like, so uh, I have to uh, be happy with that DQ because that helps my that helps my team. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of controversial, like in the, in many competitions, uh, mm -hmm. I, I can say like soccer, like football games, and etc. Et mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, Lady King got a DQ like uh, in couple competitions as well, like uh, as a world championship. Like uh, that's I I remember uh, Guangzhou 2019 uh, 200 brass. She got a DQ as well. But I, I not say like she did the same. But uh, uh, yeah, but it's kind of hard to say. But it this help us uh, for sure, like win the meet. It's it's easy to make mistakes in in breaststroke in a way. There's a lot of ways that you can get DQ'd, and and it's it's actually pretty difficult to 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 do a turn where um you know you touch the wall and it's it's completely visible and it's it's you know both hands at the same time. I mean, breaststroke's one of those races where it's bang 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 you know a lot of things happening at once so um i, I look i don't know it's it is what it yeah, is the same, yeah the same thing on the pullouts right like uh, mm -hmm. uh on the pullouts like we have like a one dolphin kick like to do uh uh on the pullout so but sometimes uh when you hold your your streamline here you do the pullouts and then you're gonna come like to do the pullout uh you you move your body like uh, a little mm -hmm. bit because this is a it's kind of hard like to hold your body sometimes uh and uh your body like make like some movement like uh body movement yeah it's and, like a uh, natural that's, undulation yeah, yeah that's yeah it's a controversial uh movement as well so mm -hmm. like a camera uh like camera won the 100 brass at the olympic games and everyone saw he's doing like a basically like three dolphin kicks on the start but uh, he he didn't get a DQ because he he jumped on the bubbles and he did a one dolphin kick, uh, another dolphin kick during the pullout, and uh, and another dolphin kick to start swim. But he won the race, and uh, and uh, all the referees didn't see anything. Have you ever intentionally cheated in in your breaststroke? No, no. That's a good answer. Definitely not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I didn't Stone cold it. too. <laughs> Stone yeah. Cold. Eyes no. didn't move. Yeah. That means you're being truthful. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tr truth meter. Now, listen. Um, what's the team talk after day one? You know, it's not the way you wanted it to go. You, your team didn't want them to get disqualified, but obviously, you understand that now that they're, they're coming for you. That you know, day two is going to be really big for you guys. What's the what's the conversation amongst the team? You know, on on the end of day one. Yeah, especially for me on the day two. Uh, they really count on me because uh, uh, James and Tom, uh, they, they, they saw me like in a, in a couple of competitions. Uh, I didn't handle it like uh, 200, 200 breaths at the day because uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm sprinter, I'm 36 years old and uh, I have to handle like, like two 100 breaths on the second day because I have the uh, 100 race individual race. And also the medley mix uh, relay in the second day. So, and uh, it's a uh, one after the another one, uh, in, like between like less than ten minutes. So uh, they James came to me. He called me like the day, like the day before. I mean, the, uh, this morning, the day two, mm -hmm. asking me like, man, uh, we're gonna need you. Uh, we're gonna need you for the uh, hundred breast individual and uh, also the medley mix. Like you should go like some. 57 max like 57 nine and the medley medley mix like to make mm -hmm. our team like max point as possible like to uh we help our team like get a win and they say man give to me uh i can't handle that like uh, so count on me so i i oh, swam, you're like, just 50... you're just eating up the pressure you love it huh <laughs> yeah yeah so uh, i went 56 nine and uh 100 breast individual i got right. third yeah, and uh, right away I went fifty-seven two on the on the medley mix relay, so mm. was it was my best uh, double time in the hundred breast ever. 
Nice. So awesome. Awesome. It's and that, really that, good. So we got first, we got, a, I mean, the hundred brass, we, we, we were count, we were counting like Ilya first, uh, Nick Fink and me probably, but I got a Nick Fink, Ilya and me on a hundred brass and the, the medley mix, like we should win and get max like third. So that's, that's what, what we did. So we got it first and, and third in the medal mix. Yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. Nick Fink kind of surprised maybe a lot of people by winning all three breaststroke races, the 50, 100, and 200. Was that a surprise to you at all, how he performed? Uh, he's a good guy, uh, very technique uh, person on a, on a breaststroke. Uh, we knew he, he's, he was coming, like, swim really well during those meets. Like, we were uh, uh, watching him, like, when we don't swim together. Uh, and we knew he's going to come like really fast on the second, uh, on the last meet at the final. Uh, but we expected also all like Ilya, like do some, uh, good job that there, but, uh, and, and, and he did actually like, he swung like a point, uh, point three of his pass and a hundred brass and a point, uh, three as well. And, uh, and the fifth brass. So it's a, it's an incredible times. And also the the two hundred like really close to his best time as well. But I Nick think he, like came came uh, to last meet like in on fire. So, but uh, uh, I don't know. Like uh, we 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 were like very like uh, happy with the time. But uh, Ilya like wasn't that happy with the time because he <laughs> didn't win. But right uh actually he did a great job and also i was trying to do my best like to be close of them and uh and and get it score some points for for our team well listen just on that that's another guy that's kind of a little bit controversial a lot of people with different opinions on Ilya and the way he swims breaststroke i know you and i have talked about this previously maybe we can maybe it's even part of the clip that we can salvage but um Give me your opinion on Ilya's breaststroke from a breaststroker's point of view, from a competitor's point of view. What's your personal thoughts on his technique? Uh, I have a, like a, uh, my opinion is, is like uh, everyone's going to talk when, when you're in the top, right? So uh, everyone's going to talk like some something bad thing about who who is there mm -hmm. uh, winning the race. So uh, mm -hmm. I I think like Ilya is very technical uh fast breaststroke in the world in short course because he has like great start great turns great underwaters his kick is very narrow and that guy he's training a lot he's training i i was like beside him like every day there like and watching his practice with her coach uh his coach uh, actually as a as a female coach like she's a uh her her name is uh helena She's a uh, uh, incredible, like technical mm. uh, uh, eagle eyes on on him, like all the time. Uh, and uh, he's he's insane. Like he's doing like everything's perfect. Like narrow kicks in the water, wide, really wide, like catch in water. Like he he's driving forward in in a hundred breaths. It's incredible to see him in in the water. I saw like him from outside and inside the water like all the time. He's very line, and uh, he's doing like a great technique in breaststroke. So I, he's I, not I, he's not cheating in his breaststroke. No, of course not. Of no. course not. So so tell no. me where is the confusion then? As a breaststroker, uh, I don't I can't talk about breaststroke like you can. I can't I can't imagine it like you can. You're a competitor of his. What are the things that where is where's the confusion with people? Obviously, people think he's doing a dolphin kick. So talk to me about the specifics of what you see underwater of what he's doing and what makes it legal. The the most important thing is like when his kick. His kick is fastest, much faster than and than than his arms. Like, so that's the the people don't think about it. Like uh, to increase your speed in the water, you have to uh, uh, get faster your kick know your arms so when you pull you have to think about it like you get into the and and in, in, in your stroke rate like with your kick like going fast so mm -hmm. that's why he doing like very perfectly like he's doing perfect perfect kick like very fast kick and and uh in the water so that's helping him like drive forward 
Uh, and so the yeah, kick itself, deep. like he, he, he turns his feet out. He pushes back, it looks like. It looks like he pushes directly back. And then he finishes the kick with, with a slight up movement. But the, the movement never comes down, right? And that's where you would get disqualified in breaststroke if, if it was to come down, correct? Yeah, exactly. Like, so he's kicked like, back, back down. So um, and he put it like his feet like this and and drive the the water back and then he put it like up, mm -hmm. like he never put it down. So uh, uh, that's uh, let, let's see like that undulation up is totally legal on, on breaststroke. And so, almost uh, every single breaststroker comes up anyways because it's just natural when you're moving forward. If you yeah. if, if your chest is going down, then your legs have to come up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, but uh, when you swim slow, uh, when you do that movement like up, uh, and in the, you don't hold your body, you don't hold your core here. Like it, naturally, your 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 legs are gonna come down and looks like a, a dolphin kick movement. So mm -hmm. he 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 never do that. Like he like he he kick that like uh, he drive forward, kick up. And then he he returned his kick like right, again right. Immediate, immediately returns back into the the next cycle. Okay, yeah, interesting. Yeah. And and he does something very strange with his arms that most coaches don't teach. We we teach line like get back into your line, shoot back into your line, hold your line out front. Like you know, I've kind of got like a Kevin Cordes in my mind where he was just all line like back in and just hold. Ilya is like shoot shoots back into his catch. It's like back into the line which gets him straight back so there's no holding of the line necessarily in my mind it's like catch hold water pull shoot back catch hold water like it's automatic is that correct yeah 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 exactly so he has a very wide catch in the on the breaststroke like pull like he's huge like he, he's like a, i don't know like more than two meters wide and i never i never see like guy like you can see like the, the photo when he 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 breaks the world record he's like like doing like this man he's huge like and he take like, advantage like of that. that like like that no no, no. he oh. huge like why oh, not, right, like, right. not, not like not, huge like that like huge <laughs> like that. okay no like you. no like you no like you <laughs> like to get to, to catch up you like have to like to do a lot of workouts a lot of, <laughs> lot of work yeah is he built <laughs> the same way as that turkish guy He's what? Is he built the same way as the big Turkish guy? Yeah, it looks like looks like him. Like uh yeah, like Emery, like he has yeah. a very wide catch. And uh if you guys can see, they don't have uh they don't have a, like a uh like high stroke rate. Like uh I think he's doing like a six, eight, eight, eight strokes like on the on the hundred lap. So, oh really? Uh, that's not yeah. So six eight eight eight. And so he hold a lot. Uh, his stroke rate like during the race. Mm. So um, keep going. Keep going like a catching water, catching water all the time, all the time. In terms, of I'm technique. doing six. Yeah, I'm doing six eight eight nine on the last lap. Mm. So on the last game on the final, uh, I try something like. I think it's going to be better for me. And it was like six, seven, eight, uh, nine strokes. So increasing like one, one stroke uh, per lap on the hundred breaths. And so I felt better, uh, like, like uh, holding uh, and uh, I don't know, like getting some, uh, holding some energy for the end. Tell me this: Why are these guys, in particular, these these two bigger guys? Why are they not as good long course, and why is PD not as good short course? What's going on? Short course is a different sport. Like uh, I used to say that uh, on my speech, like uh, short course is like a, I don't know, like maybe uh, it's like indoor uh athletics and outdoor athletics i don't, right. I, I mm -hmm. don't know i don't know compare with that but uh, right like to sh to 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 swim on short course you have to be good on your your techniques and and uh and and the tricks like a like a starts turns and underwater so mm -hmm. so bd is not really good on that like you can see on long course he's not the first one on 50 meters mark 
when he dive mm -hmm. and also and uh, his turns on the 50 meters uh long course like he's not like that good like uh, uh most of the guys like catch him like on the on that uh uh on that things uh but uh he uh pd uh, uh swim free swim is, is amazing and um, so that's that's how he's he's like not not compared with the other swimmers uh, around the world and low course well let's talk about you then for a second in terms of that how are you able to be one of the best short course and also one of the best long course you're making world champ finals olympic finals and you go into the isl finishing the top three so like T tell me about your technique and what are the adjustments that you make short course to long course? Yeah, that's, that's a good question because, uh, uh, when I realized, uh, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't that good in short course as well. And, uh, and I say, man, if I, if I stay here, like complain about my, my, my technical and, uh, start turns in underwater, and uh, never gonna improve. So uh, I start work harder and harder, like to make this uh, uh, better for me. To uh, I'm achieve like some good results in uh, in short course as well, because uh, I natural I, I naturally have the speed, but uh, that's what I say. Like if you don't have like a good uh, uh, technique, uh, uh, like a like a start turns in underwater in short course, you're not gonna achieve your goals. So I started work harder and harder in short course uh, to get that 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 things like to get better. That's what I used to say of my partners in in practice to say, man, guys, you have to like work harder like to get improved that things because yeah. short course is a different sport than long course. Yeah, yeah. Um, man, look, you're you're 36 now. You've you've been around for a while. You've seen some of the best burst strokers in history. I mean, you used to race against Kitajima for God's sake, you know, mm -hmm. um, one, the legend. Uh, so you've seen breaststroke of, of all different varieties. Um, it's, it's incredible kind of the evolution of it. But back then when Kitajima was swimming, there was certainly a style and, the, and there seems to be a style now. Talk, talk to me about maybe the evolution that you've seen in breaststroke a little bit from, from back then to now. Yeah, to see how old I am, like, uh, I remember, like, Brandon Hansen, mm. uh, uh, Ed Mose, uh, uh, those guys, like, legend swimmers, like, on the past. Like, I remember, like, even, like, when uh, the Dolphin Kick is now what it wasn't allowed, like, on the brush hook, like, uh, uh, beginning of my career. Uh, mm. I think that controversial, like, st uh, starts, like, with Kitajima when he was doing, like, a some body movement like during the during the pullouts uh at olympics i remember like it was like uh 2000 2004 i think athens uh when he won uh the 100 200 breasts there so he wasn't like some body movements on the on the on the pullouts and uh and then came up uh fina like approved like that that one dolphin kick uh during that that time I mean, right, I think between like 2004, 2008, uh, Olympic games. So, uh, yeah, I have been competing with those guys, uh, a lot during that time. And, uh, I saw like a, 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 a lot of evolution, like, uh, from, I don't know, uh, uh, let me see, like, uh, Zlutnov, the Russian, uh, when he swam the first time under a minute. And mm -hmm. uh, until Adam Petey, the first guy, uh, uh, break the 57 seconds and the 50 and the hundred breasts. Mm. So it's a, it's an incredible thing. Like I have a, I have a pass like during those years, like on swimming. What about in terms of the training over the years, you know, when you first started, uh, to now, what kind of evolution have you seen in training methods that have helped you become a faster breaststroker? I think Brett, it's. First of all, I think it's belief in, uh, in the program that you're doing, because uh, uh, when you when you committed with someone you wanna you wanna you wanna train with, uh, I think it's a, the 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 value of uh, of be committed like with that program is very important. 
because mm-hmm. uh, I I saw I I see I have seen like a lot of swimmers don't trust on the program because they are so uh, uh, they are so uh, they know like everything like know about like of, of swimming like yeah example like swimmers uh, has been like a world champion or or, or Olympian medalist like like they know and uh, and uh, they they trust what they they did in the past is gonna work for right now so but the the things change i think the the methods change the study change and uh and the hours the programs change so i think you have like true belief on the problem that you're doing like to make your your goals and the results better in the future so uh that's yeah. that's that's i'm i'm I used to do and uh i keep going growing in the at, at 36 36 years of age Man, there was actually, I don't know if people know this, but there was a period of time where I was actually your coach. You know, we, we worked yeah. together for a little while. You, you tell a funny story of how that came about, you and I working together. What, what's, the, what's the story of you and I meeting and, and finally hooking up? When we met? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was funny. Like, uh, we were, we were in, back in Brazil at uh, the Nationals, uh, I think 2014 or so. And then, uh, uh, yeah, I was like looking for some some place to go. And Bruno and Marcelo and other Brazilians well was was working with you uh, back in Auburn. And uh, I remember we met at the at the swim down pool at the Nationals. And uh, I I don't know maybe Bruno spoke with you about it about this. I was looking for some place to go because I uh, I was in South Florida before training there. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, you came to me and say, man, uh, I think we should work together. So you have like to meet and then you put out like your business card from your pocket. I was in the water in the tank, like swim down and then you throw to me like, so get in contact with me. And like, so call me in this number or email me. And, and uh, it was funny on that day. <laughs> He's cooling down. He's cooling down. So I throw a business card at him. You know? <laughs> <laughs> On my face, like so, call me. <laughs> That's how you get it done, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I loved working with you, man. And, uh, and you know, going back to what you said, you have to believe in the program. You never came in and said, um, I want to do this. I need to do that. It was always like, Brett, I'm here to do your program. I'll do whatever you say. And I, I always loved working with athletes like that. Now, it was part of my job to get to know you and what what suits you and, and, and how you like to train. That, I think that's important. But there's never ever a question from your end of like, I don't trust you. I don't believe in what you're doing. Um, it, it was always, you were a hundred percent into the program. You supported the program. You represented the program. And as an outsider coming in, I always loved that about you. Uh, you, you always came in with a smile on your face. Uh, for those people that are listening, you would walk up to me in the morning, you would shake my hand, you would greet me. You'd say, good morning, coach. At the end of the practice, you would shake my hand and say, thank you, coach. Uh, you know, it was always a pleasure to coach you. Um, and I think that's a great lesson for a lot of swimmers out there to believe in the program, be thankful for, uh, you know, the, the work that the coaches do every day and, and just, you know, a simple hello and goodbye goes such a long way, man. I can't tell you, you know, even though we don't work together to this day, I love you like a brother because of the way that you treated me every single day, you know? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I think that's a very very important because uh when you trust the program you you put your effort there and the coach is going to start like uh, trusting you as well and also is a real feedback is very important of course i have a i have a training for many years so i know what works for me and uh, i have to give you that feedback in in, in your program so mm-hmm. that's that's what i trust when i go to everywhere like work work to to everyone because I think it's very, uh, uh, I don't know, it's a, uh, I'm going to say it's a very uh, legit, like uh, you, you, you like trust in the, in the program and give mm. uh, that, that attention and that effort for every single uh, yards or meters you're going to do on practice and, uh, and to see that results at the end, like uh, trust in the program, follow and, and, and see how it's going to be yeah. on, uh, at the end. So it was very good. It was a pleasure work with you back in Auburn, trusting me and I was trusting you. I remember you, 
you were like a uh, uh, legit to ask me like sometimes like hey uh what do you what do you like to do what do you what do you want to do like a a little bit more to improve your your i don't know your back end speed your front speed or something like this like you were you you, you were like a uh, uh, like like legit like to ask me like uh, uh i mean um I'm gonna say like step back, like to do that, unless unless you say like oh oh no I I know everything, so mm, uh, yeah. you 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 are you are like a, a legit to come to me and ask that like things yeah. you don't know. Listen, uh, man, I think first things. of all, first of all, you're you're experienced. You know, you've been through it. You're you're not 17, 18 years old trying to figure it out. You've you've figured out a lot of things and. I also think that coaching is a relationship. It should be an understanding between two people. It shouldn't just be one person telling somebody to do something and the other person have no opinion. You know, it should be yeah. working together to get the best result, and especially with pro athletes. So it was very simple to do that with you. Uh, Nate, uh, what do you got for Felipe? What do you want to know? Oh, I got lots of questions. Bring them. Uh, All right. All right. What's your, favorite, what's your favorite breaststroke drill? Uh... I think it's a one kick, one pull, one kick. It's basically like a two kicks, one pull, but uh, I I I take it out uh, like uh, I spread out like uh, like one kick, uh, one pull, one kick, like to 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 hold that line and uh, make my like very narrow kick and fast kick like to hold that line in the water. Cool. Is that the is that the purpose of what you're trying to do in breaststroke? Are you are you trying to get back into your line as fast as you can? Yeah, exactly. And uh, don't throw, never throw like my stroke like down instead of like forward, mm -hmm. like in the water. So that's helped me a lot. Like to think about it, like and hold that line in the water, like forward. When you shoot forward and 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 holding that line, what are you thinking in your core when you do that? You have to hold your core and uh, uh, also uh, also like uh, squeeze your butt a little bit, like uh, to hold that line. Because uh, when you squeeze, uh, squeeze your butt, like you're gonna hold your 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 legs up, and uh, uh, when you hold your core, you're gonna hold your your arms up. So uh, that's that's what I'm thinking about all the time. Are you trying to hold your line just below the surface or or at the surface? At the surface other surface okay. so um that's uh that's one thing uh that uh Ilya do like very well uh he's he's doing like a wide stroke catching the water i high elbows go here forward like everything in front of in front of him like uh, I, i'm also do like that like very well like uh, the strokes are very in front of me like no i don't come with the elbows like here close to my body like yeah. never because uh, that 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 makes like my my hips going down like all the time. So I I'm doing like the strokes like everything is in front of me like hold hold the elbows high and then throw forward like right away. That's that's a slow movement here catching the water. Uh, try to catch here uh, the water as much as I can and the attack is really fast. Like mm -hmm. that's why the kick should be like really fast like much faster than the arms. What about your head position when you're doing that? Are you are you keeping your head slightly tilted forward? Are you are you straight up? Are you shooting your head back down into the line? Talk, talk to me about your head movement. Yeah, ours. Uh, that's a good drill. Like uh, I used to do in breaststroke as well. Like it's a hold a ball here, like um, uh, I don't know tennis ball or something, some ball here, like to hold your chin here into your chest. So. Uh, that's uh that's how I think about it like during the during the race and during the drills during practice during every every time I do impress show because uh that thing that Fred thing, Rector. your your head your head's gonna be uh uh I think it's gonna drive your uh, body into uh, the water like it keeps your hips high because if you put your head up uh during the stroke uh, the, during strokes uh yeah your hips are gonna come down mm -hmm. so that's why i hold like my my, my head like this like to come the water out and uh, all the time like my 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 neck is kind of freezing here like mm -hmm. to to drive forward on the breaststroke mm -hmm. okay that's it night go for it 
dry lands, lifting weights, or both? Uh, uh, right now I prefer weights. Yeah. I used to do uh, like a lot of dry lands, uh, uh, back in Auburn with, with Brad and Sergio. Uh, but, uh, right now I get uh, like some more power, uh, doing, doing weights, uh, to apply in swimming. Like in terms of that, co- like what exercises are you doing? Are you yeah. doing Olympic lifting or what? Yeah, uh, Olympic lift, uh, deadlift, uh, squats, uh, and everything is transferred like to uh, some power things, like some jumps. Uh, uh, I don't know pull ups. Uh, I do like a bench press as well. Like I'm really good in bench press. Uh, 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 Marcelo Ponce is try uh, asking like, have I tried CrossFit? I never tried CrossFit like uh, before. I think CrossFit is too. I don't know. It's too too much for swimming. Like it's uh, risky. Bar- it's risky. Yeah, too. Yeah, too risky. Like also, uh, swimmers like we have like a very weak shoulders. Like and uh, and uh, we cannot like do any. Uh, I mean, I trust on that. And uh, I I saw like a lot of people uh, who who's trying to do that something above of, of shoulders. Like have some injury or so. So. Uh, yeah, everything's above uh, uh, our shoulders is not is not really good for us. Like so, mm-hmm. uh, Olympic lift is really good because it works your full body and the, also your your power and 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 the fast twitch in your body. Tell me this: you're going from competition to competition, you're swimming fast week after week. How do you manage the weights into the program while still maintaining being able to swim really fast? You know, four or five days apart. Yeah, especially right now, out of my age, I have like to think about like very specific on that things. On that things, uh, do a gym be- between those competitions, like uh, like one two times, like especially like at, at, during the ISL, I was doing like a uh, one one or two times between like meets because we had a, like a, a week break like between the meets. So like that's that's to maintain the the power strength and uh, also the fast twitch in your body like to apply this in the water like especially for the fifty breaths and the hundred breaths. So uh, I I I try to manage that like uh, uh, as much as I can. Uh, so you're doing like a uh, smaller sm- like still heavy weights but s- smaller rep count. So maybe like three or four reps. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like three four reps max. And like touch the bars like every every single uh week like to keep that strength up like for for the for the pool so for you then it's more about maintenance during this period rather than growth i guess yeah exactly exactly so okay. yeah if you try growth right now like you're gonna be sore or 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 don't feel well like for the next practice or competitions ahead right okay and then how like for world short course how many days out would you be would you get out of the gym before the hundred breaststroke let's say on the first day when was the last time you'd lift uh let me see so uh i'm gonna compete on 100 breaths i'm 16 so uh i think i'm gonna touch a bar at the last time uh on friday so saturday sundays uh uh 13 on monday so it's gonna be like five days ahead six days ahead. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, about yeah. six days out. Okay, and then yeah, are you days. are you doing any dry land in that period of time? You're still touching your abs, maybe doing some push ups and things like that. Yeah, push ups like very fast, like to to keep the fast twitch, like abs, some mm-hmm. abs to hold my core, uh-huh. uh, some squats, squat jumps, uh, that kind of stuff, like with the body weights, like just to keep like that that power. Mm-hmm. But that fast push ups, mm-hmm. you do your push ups yeah. fast. Yeah, fast push-ups like on the, on the floor. Explosive. Yeah. Have to take have to take care, uh, very taking care of this because uh, the race is very risky. Like when you do that, mm-hmm. things. Uh huh. Okay. Interesting. All right. Yeah, have a see. Have have a see. Have a see. Like uh, Adam Petey doing push-ups, like jumping push-ups. Yeah. Like that, that is up. very. Yeah, that's very risky. Like to your body, like especially when when you taper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, 
But yeah, that's teeth. worked for him. For yeah. Teeth? Yeah. If you fall on your face. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, but uh, that works for him. So, all right. That's back to breaststroke training. Do you do you use fins? Do you use any sort of bands in the water? Uh, I used to use uh, uh, normal fins, like uh, freestyle fins, the uh, backstroke fins, uh, butterfly kit fins. My coach loved the breaststroke uh, fins, but uh, I hate it. Because mm-hmm. uh, that 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 things like just help me like to catch water when I have parachutes on, uh, and and I mean like a big parachutes because uh, unless that uh, just I just catch like the end of the the kick, so that's not help me like uh, feel my kick at all. So. Um, yeah, I I used to have like use like uh, normal fins like to do like flutter kick with the breaststroke arms, or butterfly kick with breaststroke arms. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. So we saw uh, when Brett was in Ninehoven and he saw Ilya like in the the deep end, basically the diving well, doing lots of vertical stuff. He did use those little breaststroke fins too, but no, you- he didn't actually. He had he had real fins on. Like oh, he had, really? Yeah, he had butterfly fins on, and he was using them to catch water with. Just regular fins, long That's, fins. Well, no, they're they're not long. Short they're just fins. the short, short little ones that everyone's wearing these days. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. are those? What are those fins called? Uh, it's called fins. short fins. Yeah, but like Arena makes a pair. I think hey, each company has their yeah. own pair now. You know. Yeah, B, the the BMC BMC uh, Australian brand. Yeah, the Australian yeah. brand. Yeah, the, those yeah. fins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I I saw I saw him like doing that a couple of times. But uh, he don't use that a lot. Like uh, he's doing like just to do like a regular kick. But uh, yeah, yeah, I saw he's he's doing like some breaststroke kick like with that fence. Uh, but uh, he he used a lot of like stretch cords, uh, back and forward, uh, do a resistance and assistance cords. Um, what else? Um. I remember uh, Anton Chupikov. He used the uh, the buckets, like uh, the little buckets in uh, around the, the the ribs, like to mm. to help him. Like uh, I don't know. <laughs> I never used that, that that before, but so I I don't I don't have much to say. But yeah, Ilya, uh, he has the breaststroke fins as well, but he don't like use that much as well. Do you hmm. do you use buckets? Do you use towers? Power towers? We don't have towers back in brazil so we used destro. To use, uh, get, get some destro down there man i'm gonna call on. chucky get chucky yeah 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 so yeah uh i love buckets i used to have like used that like back in auburn and with sergio uh with brad and uh, uh rackets as well yeah. uh but uh, <clears throat> yeah we don't have that uh back in brazil that's not easy like to to bring into uh, but he used to have like use a, a lot of parachutes there, gotcha. like, parachutes, paddles, uh, fins, and that stuff. All right. What else? All right. all right. So what? Are, other than breaststroke, I mean, you can't do breaststroke all practice, right? You're primarily all, all a breaststroker, practice. right? But mm-hmm. you swim all the strokes in practice, or what? Yeah, in practice, uh, I used to. I used to uh, uh, have breast, breast, uh, swim breaststrokes uh, just in the main sets and the kick sets, that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, I use, I used to like, uh, I'm very uh, good freestyle. I, when, I, when, when I was training with Brad, I think I, I went to my best time at 103, like 50 point something. Um, yeah, that's, of course. yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Most yeah. breaststrokers can't do that. We got, yeah, we got, we got the breaststroke at a 50 point, man. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I, I used to train with Marcel and Bruno, uh, Ranzo, uh, Roberto, I remember, Subarat. So I used to do like a very aerobic uh, freestyle. Yeah, but uh, definitely in the main set, I, I used to do uh, breaststroke. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm not bad. I, I'm really bad on only in backstroke. I'm really, really bad. I'm really struggling on, on backstroke. Hmm. Yeah. I think I think in more, most of the breaststroke does. <laughs> they struggle in the um, backstroke. 
what is this? What's this question here? Any tip to set a right pace for 50, 100, 200? How do you manipulate your paces for these three different events, Felipe? Training a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, no, yeah, uh, that's a specific thing. Like for 50s, uh, most of the people think uh, uh, to swim 50 or, or 100 on on long course or short course you have like spin a lot like breaststroke is very technical stroke like doesn't matter if you have the power uh can imagine like adam pity he's really strong but uh he if he he don't have the the technique like to to connect uh that stroke like uh pull and kick at the same time and hold his line uh he's not gonna move uh uh there's a, a bunch of memos uh, uh, I have seen, like uh, on an uh, example, like a triathlon. Like the guy say, "Oh, you you know how to bike and how to run? Why why you don't do a triathlon?" And uh, the guy like look and then show the the video. The guy tried to swim, like he's doing like a breaststroke in the water. It it's not move, so he doesn't have the technique, like the right technique, like to do it. So. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, everything's about a connection on breaststroke. Like you have to be very technical, uh, connect the, you pull with your kick at the same time. That's that's what I say. Like uh, have uh, fast fast feet, fast kick in a and and breaststroke. Like to uh, drive forward and uh, and a breaststroke. Two hundred. Uh, I'm not I'm not a real like swimmer of two hundred, but I have training a lot at the beginning of my career because I have to improve my back, uh, my back home, like the last 50 of the, of the hundred. So, uh, yeah, hundred is, uh, hold the technique and, uh, be very endurance during practice. Listen, what's this, what's this thing with breaststroke is where they say my timing's out. I just, I'm not feeling my timing right now. What do you do when your timing is out and you don't feel like your stroke is connecting? Is there anything specific you do for that? Yeah, do you have a drill or anything? Yeah, that kind of drill I, I used to do, uh, the one kick, one, one pull, one kick, like to connect that thing and hold the line uh, um, on that. So uh, I think Josh Perneau so, said the exact same thing, the exact same drill. Really? Really? And doing it that exact same way. It's like, it's, it's like one pull, two kicks, but it's done in that. One kick, one pull, one kick. That's right, yeah. I'm yeah, pretty sure yeah. that's so, what he uh, said. Hmm. That would be the second person so, to answer that question exactly the same way. So, yeah. Should Too have good, a study in that. Two good yeah. breaststrokes yeah. right How there. How much can you bench? It's a good, it's a good feeling. Me? How much can him? you bench? Me? No, not you. That's oh, a different question, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so well, how much he, can uh, Yeah, how you much said can you bench? really like the bench press. How much can you bench press? Uh, I think my... My best, my P, my PB is like uh, fifty five kilos each side. So uh, it's a, uh, it's a uh, hundred ten plus twenty. Kilos plus 20. Yeah, hundred ten kilos plus twenty of the bar. One hundred thirty so, kilos. Uh, one hundred thirty kilos for four reps or so. I never did that like a max. I never do like a max like repetition like of just do one. Maybe if I do. I can put a 60 or 65. That's like 285. Solid, man. Mm -hmm. Solid, solid, uh, yeah. solid Brazilian beef right there, man. Look at him. <laughs> he looks good too right now. He looks they tan. Just... How come you look tan? Why do I look so white? You look so tan. I look white. I look sick. You look healthy. What's happening? Is it summertime? <laughs> yeah, I can't. Yeah, right now I came to Dubai and uh, I, I saw the sun. I, I oh, saw the, the sun. sun. Yeah, I thought the sun was gone, like in in Eindhoven. Like, it was crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I stayed there. I stayed there for a month uh, without seeing the sun. Yeah. You look so, healthy, man. You look healthy. You, you look great. You got great lighting too. Thank you. Um, thank you. All right, so you've got, you've gone best times. You just won a best time in the hundred long course at the Olympics, right? Exactly. Exactly. Did, did you just go a hundred short course best time also this year? Uh, no, this year not. Like, uh, oh, yeah, 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 right after, yeah, sorry, right after the Olympics, we had a, a short course trials for the 
uh, short course worlds back in Brazil, nationals back in Brazil. And I went 56, six and the uh, hundred breasts in short nice. course. Right. Yeah. Right after Olympics. Like, I mean, it was uh, like two weeks or three weeks after Olympics. Wow. Best time to 36 is nuts in both courses too. It's not just like, it's not the 50 breaststroke. It's not, you know, it's the hundred on both yeah. distances. It's that's, I, I just, I don't, so when do the question is when does swimmers peak? When do we peak? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like uh, I think for me, I, I'm uh, most of the people. Uh, a lot of people I ask me like, until what age are you gonna swim? Say, guys, I'm feeling I'm feeling competitive. I'm still uh, on the top in the world, like uh, with a, with a, as the best swimmers. With, with the best swimmers and the uh, hundred uh, breast, short course, long course. Uh, I I love training. Uh, I I feel like uh, ready to train all the time. Like uh, I'm I I never go gonna go to the to the practice. That that's that's what I say. I'm trusting the program I'm doing right now and whatever like whatever uh, I choose to to swim, and uh, I never go to practice to cheating. Like I go there to make my hundred percent every day. Doesn't matter if my hundred percent today, it's like swim twenty five in breaststroke or twenty eight. But I, I did my hundred percent there, so I give my hundred percent there. So uh, I have. Uh, what is this guy? My... What is this guy saying? Male sprinters twenty one to 20. We're talking to one of the best sprinters in the world right here. He's thirty six years. He's just telling you he's going his best times at thirty six. And you throw out this stupid number of 21 to 25. Where'd you come up with this Maserati? Come on, man. <sighs> yeah, this, uh, there's no answer for that. Like, uh, I think, I don't know. Can you imagine like using both come back right now and, uh, and, uh, and the run for a 9.3 on the, on the hundred, yeah. hundred sprint. Yeah. Never knows. Like, uh, he, he give, he give his, his a break and, uh, he's, He's come back like run because he he loved run. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Never knows. Never knows. Yeah. That there's Nick Santos swing a world record uh, on the 50, 50 fly short course on the age forty one. So uh, that's uh, that's unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. That is right. So, so we're going to Paris. Then we're going to Paris. Uh, uh, that's a another question that a lot of people make to me. So. Uh, Let's see year by year. Uh, let's see uh, how how it goes. Uh, today I swim because I love. I, uh, I'm not swim because I have to prove someone my any any results. Um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm here because I like it, and uh, we'll see until until I have like a uh, my my goals going on and uh, and uh, and achieve some goals. Uh, and the future, yeah, I'll keep going. Well, By the I way, was, I, I yeah. love I love cycling, so uh, maybe triathlon is going to be my next sport. I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay, nice. Here we go. A little triathlon. I like do you, it. Do yeah. you do a lot of cycling for your legs? Like during? Yeah, the uh, yeah. I used to do right now. Uh, right after I turned like thirty something years old, I I try. I try to keep active during my breaks. So uh, that's why uh, since, since back Auburn, like when I bought a, a, a bike mm -hmm. right there, like a road bike, uh, I mean, a uh, mountain bike, mm -hmm. I keep like active uh, during my breaks, like doing cycling, like doing different things, different sports, like to, to keep my body active and uh, don't be like uh, too fat and uh, to don't hurt myself when I come back to swim. So, uh, um, yeah, I used to do like a bike and I start like getting good and that, like, uh, meeting people, like, uh, doing uh, like a cycling road, uh, and, uh, and I love it. And, and right now, like, uh, during my breaks, I, I'm cycling a lot. Like, uh, nice. Maybe I you can it. find, uh, I, Phelps on, uh, Peloton. Get yourself a Peloton. Maybe. Michael. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. A little maybe. head to head with Phelps. Um, yeah. 
Listen, man, uh, I appreciate this. It's been awesome. We've kept you for an hour. The other boys are exploring the sites of Dubai right now. I think it's, what, midnight for you out there? So we appreciate you doing this. You, you just came from dinner with the boys. The boys decided to kick on and, and see the sites a little bit. So I want to give you time to get, get out there and, and be with them. Um, very thankful for you being here, uh, talking about you know your career, man. It's been incredible to watch. You're, you're one of the good guys in world swimming. Uh, we love talking to you. Love watching you. Keep it up. We'll be um, cheering for you next week. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Happy for you that you you came away with the championship, man. That's that's big time. Um, just from your perspective, are you are you feeling good about the ISL? How how do you feel about the the future of the ISL? Uh, yeah, uh, there's a there's a big things coming up. I, I think with the ISL, like I think the things start change already uh the swimmers uh get paid better like uh, around the world with the isl also uh like i don't know that 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 comparative like with the with the fina payment and the isl like payment as well like so it's a good money uh a good, good amount for the swimmers during the year uh that's help uh improve and popularity uh, uh swimming around the world i think that's very important to to us and uh to to make the the swimming popular uh so uh I'm, yeah i'm really happy with uh, those kind of competitions growing around the world and uh and uh yeah be being mm. part of this it's amazing good stuff man so, well, uh there was a few restrictions when we we're out in the netherlands a few few days ago you know we had to be in you had to be in bed by five o'clock at night yet there was yeah. complete lockdown is there any situation in dubai right now what's the what's the story out there yeah, Dubai, I think it's a it's kind of better than uh, Eindhoven, like Holland. Uh, but here, yeah, you keep ha use mask inside buildings and outside as well. Uh, but I think, yeah, the things here is uh, a little bit more open. So uh, that's kind of better, like to, we can breathe and uh, uh, enjoy the the sun a little bit more. Well, last Basically. question. Last question. What's the best thing to eat in Dubai? What What's the best food that we don't know about? Tell us about it. Best food here in Dubai. Let me see. Um, there's a lot. It's it's a it's a worldwide food here. So uh, it's very American here. There's a lot of like Subway, McDonald's, and uh, Wendy's, and that stuff. That stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's uh, some. Lebanese, uh, Japanese, uh, uh, I don't know, like a bit of Chinese food. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Like Dubai is very international uh, cuisine, I guess. Yeah, so are you guys, are you guys staying? Good. You guys staying in that hotel, like the the the, the sailboat or whatever? Are you there? The one that's shaped like Dude. a coin? No, no, no there's no, one no. like a sailboat, isn't there? No, 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 it's a, no, 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 no. There, that's very, the seven star hotel, this one. It's oh, a, okay. Yeah. Seven so, stars. Uh, yeah, it is. Damn. I, I, I don't even be in like a five star hotel. Can you imagine like seven? Yeah, that's six, that's <laughs> six more, six more stars than I usually stay at. So yeah. That's, that's a, lot, a lot of stars. Yeah. Man. We'll leave the nah, line no, on for yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, we are in good place here, like a good hotel. Everyone's together. So, yeah, a, a lot of things to do around. Yeah, but right. I, it was a, it was a pleasure to talk to you guys. Like, uh, yep. anytime. You too. Uh, text me, text me yeah. your address when you get back to the states. Yeah, yeah, I'll, for sure. I'll send you one. Pleasure to talk to you, Nate. Pleasure yeah, good to talk to, see to you, you man. Brad. All right, good my friend. Take care. Bye bye. Yeah, you guys too. Take care.